What's up course heroes? Today we are talking about the Thrive Themes Shapeshift Builder. This theme builder has been in the making forever and it's finally out. If you are a part of the Thrive Theme family, then you get access to it. And if you're not, consider joining. It's only 228 bucks a year and you get uh, access to the entire Thrive Themes suite of products. And for 228 bucks a year, you can install it on 25 websites. Uh, enough about Thrive Themes. I love everything, everything Thrive. But today we are talking just about the Shapeshift Builder. I'm doing an unboxing. It is my first time using it. So I'm going to show you what it looks like on the inside, the features, and how you can edit it and how you can make your website stand out. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, this is my first unboxing video of the Thrive Theme Builder. I just uh, installed it and the first thing I'm taken to is this Theme Builder Wizard. And here I can click on get started. Now, before I go ahead and install this theme, what I have done is I've done my speed test on GT metrics to see what kind of results I get after installing this. So this was before we installed the theme. Now let's get started and see uh, other steps I need to take. Uh, upload a logo. This one is already done. I can just say choose and continue. Next is header. Uh, looks like you can, you can change the header from the top drop down. By pressing the arrow keys i guess this one all right so these are all the different headers that come with this theme and this is my first time using shapeshift i was not a beta tester so what you're seeing is also what i'm seeing for the first time i kind of like this one it has the small menu option let me see if i can change this logo i don't want that black background i want a transparent logo I think I have the transparent logo here somewhere. All right, found the transparent logo. Let's select this one. And now we shall continue. When you're done, press choose. Okay. So this is for the header again. Choose and continue. Next would be footer. Awesome. Uh, this one looks like it's generated out of the box for me. So I can change that if I wanted to. I kind of like this one. Uh, it has all these different options for menu items but if you want you can also go with some simplistic ones right here i'm going to select the simple one and let's continue home page choose from ready-made home page uh, display one of your existing pages or display your blog as home page let's see what's in the ready-made pages okay so this one is content focused local business local business i want to actually go back to selecting uh i don't want to select this i want to select my blog as my home page so i wonder how i go back and do that okay here we go i just said previous step and i want to display my blog as my home page looks like the right side bar is showing which i don't want to show and i'm sure we can fix that later right now i'm just going to hit continue single blog post all right i'm already liking the look and feel of this it looks very premium so this is what a single blog post would look like and on the top here it says audio post i'm not sure what that means but let's take a look so audio post video post title banner without sidebar that's the one i really want let's see what other options we have featured image with sidebar full width with sidebar this is featured image without sidebar and this one is title banner without sidebar i'm going to go with full featured image without sidebar so let's choose that love it now let's continue and then list post uh, what would be the blog post list i guess so this is what it looks like right now i can change this Mm, list layout without sidebar masonry list layout without sidebar blah 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 so these are all the options this is the one that's currently selected i am going to choose this one right here grid layout without sidebar oh uh, you know what actually i don't like this stuff on top so i'm going to change it to this this looks much cleaner i'm going to select this and choose continue and then this is a sample page i you know we can just uh, use our like we can download template pages so i don't know why this is here but let's see boxed page I'm going to choose boxed page and just continue 
so which menu do you want to use in headers and footers main menu say that and continue your site is now built using the designs you can revisit the wizard or on the left plane so restart wizard is right here if you wanted to use that preview my site or learn what to do next i'm going to click on learn what to do next all right looks like the next step for us is to go to the branding and select the branding colors uh, out of the box it comes with that blue color uh, but what's going to happen is for this branding it's going to show show me live as i make those changes so i can see the menu here now right now it's showing the blue but my brand color is orange so i'm going to change that to orange and i think i have it here let's paste that and that's uh what my brand color is i'm going to apply that logo if you wanted to put a light version we already did this part but then you can also upload your fav icon so i'm just going to search for fav in my media library here's my fav icon and i can select this and then the next would be typography i don't see save buttons here anywhere so i'm just going to continue without saving i'm assuming it's saving automatically let's go back to branding and see if it's saved yep all right so typography uh, this is what currently is active it's showing i am going to <clears throat> change this the question is how okay i'm going to hit this little pencil to change the typography so headline um, basically i want to go with sans and montserrat so for headlines i'm going to choose montserrat and apply and that's going to go to all headings actually and then the paragraph is going to be pt sans apply that and it's going to be 20 and then all the list is going to be the same it's going to be pt sans and i'm only going to be using these two fonts site wide okay list has changed hyperlink is going to be inherit and i'm going to select my orange color actually this is highlight i don't want to highlight so let's remove that color is going to be orange plain text same thing it's going to be pt sans i think pt sans loads the loads one of the fastest and that is why i want to use it and uh, i have seen most blogs use this one it's easy to read preformatted text same thing pt sans regular bold sure and then let's go back to my headings i want to make sure that all the headings are the same looks like it but when i click here i don't know if i want if i need to change it to each and every oh let's just change on each one of these okay i've made those changes i'm going to hide this menu okay save work all right so those changes are saved i can refresh this oh maybe not okay it's showing me my current active changes so that was typography and then the next step is templates and these are all the uh, templates that are out of the box so we have core templates home page archives custom post and all templates well i'm going to pause this video see what the templates is all about and then be right back okay watch the tutorial uh if you haven't already click on this when you finish the wizard setup you will see this learn what to do next and in this shane uh does a really good demo of what these templates do and they are very 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 powerful but what you can essentially do is let's say we want to see all the templates here you can pick a template and then you can start editing that template and that will go into effect for, for your uh, site so let's go and look at a blog post template maybe and we can start editing that and show you everything that a template can do so this is what the default post template is right now i can click on edit and this will let me make changes to each and every one of my blog posts by editing that template and you can edit the headers you can edit the footers you can edit the main content section all of that is editable and you can see here things that you can edit so you can edit the header the top bar the content bottom and footer and uh you can do this for each and every post or page separately also or you can do it site-wide right now we are doing a site-wide editing say i click on the header i don't want to show the header i can simply close that and that header is not going to show now if i wanted to show the header i can uncheck this box and that shows i can also unlink it if you want to make the change just to the specific header on your blog post you can make that change instead of having it site-wide change 
So you, I can unlink it and then make that change or I can edit the header right here. I can also replace it if I wanted to. And on the left section here, I can choose content. Actually, let me open this menu here. Same thing uh, with post list. Uh, I can add a bunch of stuff here. So for example, if I want to add breadcrumbs, I can just drag the breadcrumbs and drop it in here. And now this is what the breadcrumbs looks like. I can change it if I wanted to. I can do none. I can do icon or a character. And then you can make all those changes right here, which will apply site-wide. Uh, you can make changes to maybe just the content section. So here's my content section and I can, in this content section, I can drop stuff. So I can drop a widget area if I wanted to, and that will go on the side. But because uh, this blog post is not full width, it doesn't make sense to have this in here. So I'm just going to delete it. And looks like I messed it up. I'm simply going to go back, hit control Z on my keyboard, and then I can... Uh, and about the author, business links, and all the other stuff, uh, the article components you can add in here. But this is all the new stuff that comes with this theme builder. So I can add a calendar widget in here or a comment section. I already have a comment section at the bottom, I believe. So I have, this is my bottom section, right? Um, what I can do is hide this bottom section because I don't want to show it. And that should have gone into effect. I don't know why it's still showing. I don't want this bottom section to show. Maybe it's the footer. Nope, the footer is this one right here. This is the bottom section. All right, I'm not sure why that bottom section is not disappearing. I do want it to disappear, but it's okay. We can move on and figure that part out later. So coming back to the top section, again, it's you can add more stuff here in the top section. So right now I have added the breadcrumbs. And then if I click on the breadcrumbs, I can do all the stuff that we are used to doing with Thrive Builder whether it's changing the layout, background style, borders and corners, you can do all of that right here. Uh, I don't see center align or right here. So I can center align this or I can do this left align. If I wanna display categories, I can do that or I can uncheck this box that'll remove the categories. I can edit the breadcrumbs uh, right here. So when I click on edit, it opens up this edit mode that we are used to and then I can click inside here and uh, change the typography if I wanted to. So that's it for the themes but what what we can do is once you make changes to a template you can save it as a new template and you can uh, duplicate it and then make changes to that duplicated template so this one was a full width featured image without whatever this is uh, i don't know what it says without but that's what this template is if i don't like this template i can always change it but right now i'm happy with the way it looks so i'm going to keep it as is uh, you can also, if I go in here, you can go go play around with all this stuff. Uh, some of it is new, some of this we are used to. Obviously, we are excited about the new stuff and the new theme builder. So I think now that we have done all of this, the theme is active. But let's go back into our appearance and make sure that this is active. Yep, this one is active right now. So what I can do is run another test now that this is active. But before I run that test, what I want to do is just go to my website and uh, see what it looks like. This is what it looks like right now. You can see uh, it's looking pretty slick and uh, you have pagination here and that's going to help with site page speed. Uh, this bottom section is showing here. I still need to change this. So what I'm probably going to have to do is go back into the theme and change that on pages. Now, this is what it looks like when you're go in the regular settings area and here I can go to home page settings it's your latest posts I'm gonna have to figure out where to change this section uh, you can go in the theme builder or you, you can go into the product manager and go into the shapeshift theme I think I think that's how it works theme builder let's try that okay yep theme builder opens this up home page go to home page go to the bottom section I, I'm not sure how to edit this home page. Maybe it's under templates. That's one thing I'll have to figure out, but overall the theme builder is looking just amazing. Active home page. Okay, here's the active home page, so I can edit it here. So this is a list layout without sidebar, and this should load that same page that we are looking at. So what I can do is go and try to hide this bottom section and see if it hides it for me. Yes, it worked. Perfect. Uh, and then here I can add more stuff if I wanted to, but I'm going to leave it as is. Just let this be my homepage. And there you have it. So 
Real quick, if you're new to the channel, consider hitting the subscribe button so you get notified every time I release a new video. Now let's continue. One final thing before uh, you go and start playing around is to check the GT metrics score. So let's retest it. I am hoping and praying that this does not increase page load speed because that would be a bummer and I'd have to revert back to my Ocean WP theme. So let's see what GT metrics has to say. Uh, just a reminder before we started this video, the speed test was showing 3.3 seconds load time. Now I have activated the shapeshift theme and thrive architects new theme builder and let's see what our page speed is looking like right now i can see that the page size has decreased but the fully load time has increased a bit this is not looking good for, um but i'll keep playing around and see if there are some settings i need to change let's look in waterfall and see where that is happening um this could be something on my end i'm hoping this just says incomplete so I might have to still play around with it. No response headers. I have no clue what that means, but I'm going to try to figure it out and fix it. And there you have it, Course Hero. That is how you can use the Shapeshift Builder by Thrive Themes. Now, this was just my first pass at it. Obviously, you can do a lot more than what I showed you in this quick video. But I wanted to get this video out there, get you excited about the Thrive Theme Builder just as excited as I have been. I hope I can fix that page speed issue and get back to creating awesome pages and blog posts with Thrive Themes new Shapeshift Builder. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the flip side.